a lot of times businesses need to write formal request for proposal or RFP but are not sure where to begin. Whether you're seeking help with digital marketing, IT services, construction or legal support, RFPs let you communicate the need clearly to the vendors. Let me show you how to create an RFP quickly using Microsoft Word and ChatGPT and we will walk through a real example for digital marketing services. Let's start by opening ChatGPT and asking it for RFP template. For example, generate a request for proposal for digital marketing services. You can swap in any business service like software development, HR consulting, or real estate brokerage. It's a great start, but you need specifics. Your proposal might be for search engine optimization, or pay-per-click advertising, or social media management. Let's assume that this is for SEO, where you need to improve your website's visibility in Google search results to attract more organic traffic. So let's trigger a prompt. Customize the outline for search engine optimization to improve your website's visibility in Google search results to attract more organic traffic. Now you remember that customer mentioned that they would like to improve organic traffic trends as well as keyword rankings. Let's ask ChatGPT to help and customize to focus on KPIs like organic traffic trends and keyword rankings. I think we see in the light at the end of the tunnel, but it seems too long. Let's ask ChatGPT to rewrite as one page with one sentence executive summary in the top, targeting large financial organization in the United States and focusing on typical problems they might experience. Looks good, right? And in the last step, we can copy and paste sample RFP in Word where we can do some final touches. You can use cool native Word features to add heading, insert date and update your organization name. In this tutorial, I'll share with you how to create PowerPoint with artificial intelligence. We start by asking ChatGPT to generate a clear and engaging outline for the topic. This gives our presentation structure before we touch PowerPoint. Once we have the outline, we can ask ChatGPT to expand each slide with content flow, so we know what each one should say and show. As you can see, each generated section has a title, bullets, as well as suggested visual. When we create a new slide in PowerPoint, we will use title and content slide. All we need to do to populate the content is to copy the title and paste it into PowerPoint. And we can do the same thing for the bullets. We can select them, copy them, and paste them as text into PowerPoint. As you can see, bullets formatting didn't copy well, so you can either manually fix it by just using the enter button or use notepad as intermediary solution. And obviously, we need to change the color of the font to white. Now, these bullets are too long and hard to read. Is there anything I can do? Can ChatGPT help me? I can ask ChatGPT to shorten the bullets to no more than 4 to 5 words length, and then update to insert new bullets onto the slide. ChatGPT suggested two visuals for this slide. I like the bar chart because I can generate bar chart inside the PowerPoint. Here's how ChatGPT can help. We can ask ChatGPT to complete the research and provide the recent data in simple format for the bar chart on the topic. The data looks great and very promising for the simple bar chart. In the next step, we need to ask ChatGPT to generate the data in Excel format. We got the data snippet, which consists of two columns, region and revenue in billions of US dollars. And we can copy this data and paste it directly into PowerPoint to generate a bar chart. In PowerPoint, you need to click Insert chart and then generate the bar chart. It comes with the Excel window which you can paste the data into. As you can see the chart looks ok but not very visual. We can change the chart type to the pie chart and maybe even use a 3D pie chart. We can also add the legend and expand the font size to make the data more visible. ChatGPT can also help generate narration and presenter notes. If we ask ChatGPT to generate one minute narration and presenter notes for slide 2, this is what we're gonna get. And we can copy and paste this information from the chat GPT window right into the notes inside PowerPoint. We can even generate a new background for PowerPoint slide. We can download the image and use it to change the background in PowerPoint. A lot of times you need to create a proposal that doesn't just describe your offer, but actually wins the deals. Let me walk you through building a real proposal for an AI-powered content marketing strategy targeting a popular business challenge, boosting e-commerce growth. We'll use ChatGPT to generate ideas and content, and Microsoft Word to turn it into polished, persuasive document. 
First, let's use ChatGPT to generate a solid outline. We'll ask ChatGPT to write a business proposal outline for an AI-powered content marketing solution for e-commerce. This gives us all the key sections – executive summary, problem, solution, timeline, budget, and call to action. Now we can paste this into Word and apply heading styles to structure the proposal. Styles help make your document easy to navigate, especially when clients are just glancing at it. In the next step, as we have outline ready, let's refine the executive summary. We'll ask ChatGPT to write a one-paragraph executive summary for this proposal. We can copy and paste it into Word and revise the language to make it more client-focused. Remember, a winning proposal focuses on their pain points and goals, not just your services. When reviewing the document, you realized that implementation plan and pricing are missing. It might be a good idea to add them into proposal as appendix and customize it for Chicago area, which is where our client is located. As part of our pricing model, we can offer multiple plans, starter plan, professional plan, enterprise plan, as well as add-on services. In the next step, we'll add company logo, change the theme colors, and use consistent funds. The small touches go a long way toward making your proposal feel professional and trustworthy. If you think that something might be missing, you might be right. Now is the good time to improve tone and handle objections. Let's ask ChatGPT to rewrite sections in a more persuasive tone and handle common client's objections. If you don't know what the objections might be, ask ChatGPT. What objections might a small e-commerce company have about AI content? Write responses I can include in my proposal. And in the final step, let's save the finished proposal as PDF, so the formatting stays consistent when sharing with your client or a team. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you for helping us to become one of the largest YouTube channels to help people become smarter, increase your IQ, and to pass any test. If the content of this video was helpful, please make sure to click the like button to help YouTube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster. Giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this, and when you tell us, we will deliver it for you in the future. For links to free and premium resources, please check the description and comments of this video. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to download the materials related to this topic. I really appreciate your endorsement, support, and patronage of this channel. And thank you for considering to become a member and considering to subscribe. Please leave feedback, suggestions, or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.